Hello, everyone. Today, I will show you uh, uh, an AI tool, online tool, which can be used to generate uh, beautiful and meaningful and high quality images for for your presentation or for any of your analysis. Uh, most of us don't know about the how to use those AI models and packages and how to develop them. But for but now, as the AI industry is booming, there are a lot of freely available online softwares that can be used to generate um, any type of uh, uh, figures or graphs you need. Obviously, that is limited to some some number of images, but still, most of us, when they are, we are presenting or we are making any draft, we always are limited to number of images and we want to generate new beautiful images for our, our analysis. But uh, the thing is that we are always uh, confused at how to build those, build those images. But now I will show you one very interesting AI software that is known as napkins.ai, napkin, N-A-P-K-I-N, napkin.ai. It is also commercially available, but for basic analysis, it's freely available. We can use that. And napkins, what napkin does is that napkin turns your text into visuals so sharing your ideas is quick and effective so but i will show you uh, the free versions of it but obviously if you want to um, to register it you want to buy it and you want to use it commercially there would be more options here you can see that there are different types of graphs for instance there are two uh, ways to use it uh, when we are talking about free Number one is that if we want to uh, use a napkin, we can paste uh, text here or or obviously if you want to generate any text from AI, like for example, here you can see that the best practices for hiring an interview, picking the CRM for your sales team, brand, brand proposal from plant, so on and so forth, whatever you have. For example, best practices to for hiring for a hiring interview, right? That now it will generate a text, for example, so there are best practices for hiring a, an interview, prepare thoroughly, create a comfortable environment and so on and so forth. So there are almost 10 different points, create a comfortable environment, use structured interview, focus on skills. Now this is this so much text you have to read and go through, but there are, there are ways like if you just select all this text, I think, and you just click the this generate visuals it will give you it will generate a lot of different images for your presentation quality images for example enhancing hiring interview with best practices so it will tell you that uh, best practices for hiring interviews is prepare thoroughly create comfortable environment use structure so and you can also uh, go back and make new uh, if you don't like it you can change those images and you can just also for example if you want to click it now this is one image for a present presentable and uh, image you can just save it by in uh, uh, not like this but if you can you can also uh, download this image export this image yeah in png svd SVG and PDF format, mm -hmm. right? You can make the colors as well. You can change the background. You can change the, improve the resolution as well. And you can just save it into your computer. One way is, or there are ways that you, for example, we want to make our own, using our own text. Obviously, most of us have our own text. For example, I, this, I'm a teacher, so I was presenting something. So like there are different types of mutations in cancers. So if I click this, I want to show all of these together. I just, I want to show that in my presentation quality. Wait, let me first remove this. And now, let's paste it here. Now this, so it's just taking it as a text. We can change it and we can different types of text, for example. Yeah. 
right? So now it's saying that genetic variations like this or like this, different types into a visual form. If you want a colored image. So, so you can use that. Now I think it's very simple and straightforward. And I hope that will help my viewers which, who use this uh, channel to learn. Uh, you can also use this napkin.ai software. I really liked it. And I also used it in my, I also, uh, in my presentations. So let's see if you find it helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.